great thing about fish is that it's so versatile you can infuse any kind of flavors you'd like. We've got a delicious sesame crusted mahi going with some bok choy and some spicy noodles. The first thing we're going to do of course is knock out a little bit of prep. Go ahead and prepare some bok choy, slice up some green onions, we're going to mince up some ginger, cut a couple oranges in a half, and it's time to start cooking. Now we're going to get to cooking. It's going to move very very quickly but more importantly you're going to need to multitask. Go ahead and season up this beautiful mahi-mahi on all sides with salt and cracked black pepper. We're going to lay a nice layer of sesame seeds right on top in a hot saute pan with a little bit of sesame oil. We want to cook this fish completely through. Once we flip the mahi-mahi over after about three to four minutes, that's where we're going to start braising our bok choy. In a separate large hot saute pan with sesame oil, we're going to caramelize up that ginger. We're going to add in the bok choy, a little bit of chicken stock, adjust the seasonings with salt and pepper. We simply want to braise that for a few moments. While this is going on, go to the rice stick noodles. This is as easy as pouring very, very hot water over it. The noodles will cook themselves. Now in another separate pan with a little bit of sesame oil, go ahead and add in those sliced green onions, some garlic chili paste, a little bit of mirin, soy sauce. Go ahead and add in the noodles. They should be done at that time. We're going to toss that around a little bit and simply keep it warm. The bok choy should be done. And lastly, our fish should be done. Remove the fish from the pan. Pour a little bit more of that sesame oil in. We're going to add in a little bit of ginger, some honey, the juice of those oranges that we cut in half. We're going to cook this down for a few minutes, get it nice and thick. Next, we're going to simply plate up. To plate up, simply lay down our noodles, put down our bok choy. We're going to put the fish right over that, add on some of that delicious glaze, and boom, a simple, tasty, very quick recipe. You saw that you do have to do quite a few things at one time, but in the end, the flavors are fantastic. You will absolutely love it. Get all these great ingredients from your favorite Heinen's fine food stores and visit Heinen's.com to see all of our great recipe videos. I can't wait to eat some of this. We'll see you next time.